Welcome to the ASO Plug and Sense System Assembly Guide. In this video, we're going to show you how quick and easy it is to assemble your safety edges. To begin, we will need to cut down the safety edge profile to accommodate the end caps. We want the profile to be 24mm shorter than the required finished length of the safety edge. Use only the approved cutting tools now being shown on screen. The use of any other cutting tool is not recommended and will void any product warranty. Lay the safety edge profile on a flat surface and place the uppermost section into the open cutters at a completely flat angle. Then firmly press down to cut the profile cleanly and neatly. Failure to cut the rubber profile at a flat angle of 90 degrees will invalidate any warranty. The low tools are readily available and stocked by your local ASO reseller. Water drainage holes must be removed from the end caps before fitting. If the edge is to be mounted horizontally, remove the drain plugs from both ends. If the edge is mounted vertically, just remove the plugs from the end closest to the ground. For the TTLL and the TTLA safety edge profiles, remove the notches as illustrated from the end cap to allow the ceiling flaps to protrude through the cap. The end caps have pre-marked areas for the cable exit. Choose the desired cable exit and push or cut it out. Push in the lock cap, including the attached plug, into the hollow spaces surrounding the switching chamber. Ensure it is tight to the cut surface of the safety contact edge. No gaps should be present on either side. Check whether the outer wall of the switching chamber abuts the lock cap. Slight rotational movements of the lock cap can additionally cause this. Insert the attached KS4 resistor or cable plug into the electrical switching chamber of the safety contact edge. Now press with force on the plug using a thumb to drive the plug into place. Remove the pressure and then press the plug again to ensure the correct fit. Place the end cap neatly over the KS4 plug and lock cap to secure the build. Fasten the end caps by pushing firmly the fixation clip into the holes marked on the end cap until it clicks into place. For bigger contact edges, an additional fixation clip is used to fasten the end caps. Repeat this step at the other end of the safety edge. A click should be heard to ensure the clips have engaged and locked successfully with the lock clip. The spears hold the end caps on, but they also ensure the KS4 plug seal does not move. This is essential to ensure the correct seal of the switching chamber. Once these have been fitted, they cannot be removed again without damaging the clip. Once damaged, they cannot be used again. Measure the contact edge with a multimeter. In rest position, the resistance value has to be between 7.7 kilo ohms and 8.7 kilo ohms. When the edge is activated, the resistance should not exceed 500 ohms. 